Hi guys, welcome to Print Right. I am your host Sanveer, and today in this video, we are going to show you how to edit or how we can do CMYK editing with the help of Photoshop and how to take print out. So, in this video, we will be doing this image, uh, this is image of uh, DC Comics characters, Superman, Batman, and everyone. So you can see the amount of stories that like to show the colors their vibrant colors are there with different types of characters they have different types of colors so we'll be trying to do this thing and we try to do try to separate these colors and make four screens and print it to cmyk so guys without any delay let's start it First of all, if you are new to the channel, click the subscribe button and like, share the video and press the bell icon for faster notification. And guys, if you have not seen the previous video of how to do half tone, that is given in the link, go and check the video, then come to this video. Okay guys, so for this thing we require Photoshop, that is one software that is required for editing purpose. And in this video, I will also show you a small trick that you can do direct printing. So that I go. So guys, stay tuned with the video. Do not skip. Just watch it till the end, and you will get to know the small trick how you can do direct print out of the CMYK image. Okay, guys. So this is the elaborate way how to do is. Everybody have different different styles of doing, but this is how I used to do. So first of all, you have to open the Photoshop, go to File, New, and open the print size, what size you want. So we basically have uh, L 1300 in our office. So we are using 13 by 19 inch A3 plus size mostly. So we are taking 13 by 19 A3 size and RGB. 300 pixel background white and create so this what is the size we are using uh, most probably and guys if you like the video don't forget to like the video and do comment if you have any doubts and if you also want to start your printing journey you can buy the equipment from our website printright.com or you can call the number given in the screen so guys this is the uh, size what we are printing so first of all let me drag and drop the image so drag and drop it and we'll make it size according to the page and guys i will not show you how to make the size or what are how to arrange the sizes and all this that is different subject and this is different topic here we only show you how to do see like a separation so i won't be showing any size measurement or how to give uh, registration marks and all if you want it write down in the comment we'll do a next video how to give registration mark or how to manage the sizes and all okay so first of all we'll just put it between this page so we have opened the page now see as you can see this rgb format whenever you download mostly from online you will get rgb format but for the printing we require CMYK format so first of all we have to change this image to CMYK so go to image click mode go to CMYK colors click it ok ok so the page converted to CMYK format now we will require four uh, new tabs to be opened so that we can separate the color from CMYK ok guys so for opening this one let's open find new and the size of the image will be same 1390 just change the color mode to grayscale and create so like this four screens you have to do to uh, for CMYK 
so first one is this let's open this next three so guys we have opened next three here in the tab now i'll show you see just zoom it up and the check you won't able to print there's no printable area is there or dots are there how you can print if you're not seen the half tone video just check it out because ha cmyk half tone spot color all about dots so we have to create the dots for printing so first of all we will see you can go to the right hand side or go to channels and see there is the image see this is the image of all the product uh, like the all the image of the print so first of all yellow then we have to print magenta above that sign and then black this how we will do cmyk print in practical but now we have to separate it one by one so we have taken a sign you can see in the right hand side you can see sign and we will put control all control c and go to the next page and put control shift v so it will come in the same exact position same way we will do the other thing after that we will go to m control c control shift v that will go to uh, the yellow one control c control shift v then we will go to the black one control c and control shift v so guys remember once this is how we have make a format cmyk but while this while you are printing your printing should be lighter to darker so first of all you have to print yellow above yellow you have to print pink or magenta whatever dark pink or magenta what you like to tell magenta then sign then black this is how the way of printing so guys like all the cmyk we have copied as i showed you with with the help of channels and after that we will convert see now i will just see this sign you can see we are not able to print because no dots are there so we will convert it to dots first so as the same like the half tone conversion go to image go to image mode bitmap click ok and half tone screen you have to choose 300 pixel and half tone screen click ok on that frequency 60 you can use 45 to the 2 5 or you can play with the frequency but we will go to the printers properties in printers printers property 60 is the uh, most used frequency so 60 is the frequency and the angle the degree uh, the degree of the image will have different different so for so for sign we are using 15 number so this is the printers property all the printer setting is like this only but you can play with it with different different way so that uh, shape round and click ok you can see i'll zoom it up and you can check see you can see lots of dots here you can check lots of dots here for printing like this this is ready for print so we'll do for the uh, next one that is m m also image mode bitmap and 300 pixel half tone screen press ok frequency is 60 angle is 75 and ok so this is also done you can see full of dots you can check out now we will go with the uh, yellow one yellow image mode bitmap press ok and after that um like half tone screen okay 60 and this one will go for zero and press okay this is a printer's property how printer setting works see it is 50 and we can see uh, this is also you get the holes and last but not the least the most required color is the black mode bitmap okay and half tone screen change it to 45 
and rest all the things are same frequency and shape okay so guys now all the four uh, files are ready you can do the print out and you can do cmyk printing so guys for uh, i will show you in this image like let me take c and copy this up control alt c and control shift v then let me choose magenta and take the magenta control alt c and control shift v let let me take that yellow copy and choose yellow here control shift v and last will let me choose the black and we'll choose black here and control shift v so you can see uh, we have given all the here you can see the dots so here you can see the images and all so we'll start with from yellow so guys this is the yellow dots then we'll go for magenta second dots then we'll go for sign third one the blue one and the last one is black so we'll choose black and you can see this is how the printing of cmyk is done so you can zoom it up you can see the dots here you can see see there are lots of cmyk dots are here you can see check out here you can check here you can see lots of dots are here present in the print this is how you have to do cmyk now give the registration mark on the everywhere control p you can give the registration marks manually or directly you can give from here also in the uh, registration mark click the registration mark select the shapes and you can do the printing by change the printer setting and you can do the printing so guys this is the one way of do manually how you can do if you don't have any other software to do so now it's time for a trick the tip I told you how to do with one click. So this is how this is possible with only one software. So guys, let's start it. So for that we have to open one software. I am using Illustrator here. After opening, we will drag and drop the image. So what image you want to do the print of CMYK and uh, keep it in our printing area of the image after that we will put it in the printing area of the image ok so let let us print it so there is nothing you have edited nothing you have seen so directly we will do control P so you have to put an extension here that is the trick you should require a rip software RIP software so here I have installed Acrodip with my Epson L1300. So you choose a RIP software and driver you have can choose A3 what we are printing A3 plus. So here in output you can see nothing you can do the changes here. Uh, if you are cho choosing normal print time this option you won't get see the option is you won't get. But if you have RIP software that is integrated with you, installed with your software, so RIP software, if you have, then take the RIP software, choose output and the mode, you choose separation and rest keep it everything. See, C, M, Y, K, 60, 60, 60. 15, 75, 0, 45. The exact numbers what you have given. This is printer setting. So now you can print it directly. No, and put for film and print it directly. No need for editing and all. And one more thing, guys. In RIP software, you will get far better printing clarity than normal printout. So it's already recommended to have a RIP software. If you get it, just go and buy one. So RIP software will give you great clarity and be very helpful while you are doing exposing so guys this is what the video all about hope this video became informative for you and if you like the video please like our channel 
subscribe it and share it so that we can keep on continue making this type of videos and don't forget to show your love uh, put some comment there and if you have any other questions comment it down so guys as i always say bye bye stay safe and see you soon